Hi, I'm Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, and welcome to another episode of QuickBooks Tips and Tricks. Today's teaching lesson is on how to properly track your credit cards, that is, how to enter credit card charges and how to pay the credit card bill. One common th um, scenario that I see when um, clients are not properly tracking their credit card entries is they will enter a bill which summarizes all of their credit card charges for a given month. Now this is okay only if you have a personal credit card and occasionally you charge business expenses to and then you want to pay those business expenses out of the um, business QuickBooks account. That is okay. Not crazy about it, but it works. The proper way and more acceptable way to do this is to actually utilize QuickBooks to track uh, credit card charges. And to start this, um, one of the things that you're going to need is a credit card general ledger account. Right here you see that this is a credit card type account. If I edit this, you'll see the uh, general ledger number, the credit card type, and I like to put the last four digits of the credit card um, account number in there as well. Once you have that, you are then able to enter credit card charges, and believe me, this is a lot like writing a bill, if you will. Um, so we're over here, I had the charges itemized, what you would see when you're entering the credit card charges would be, let's do Barnes and Noble, and let's say this was on 12-14, and it was $24.87 for a business book that was purchased, and save and new. And I'll just show you quickly some of the other charges that I entered in here before I started this teaching session. There's Verizon Wireless, Chops Deli, the car repair place, um, gas that was purchased. So the idea is that you would enter every credit card charge that is um, that that accumulates during a given month, just like you would write every check or debit purchase that that transpires during any given month or given time. Once you've done that, in order to pay the credit card, you can either enter a bill or you can write a check, and I'll show you how to do it writing a check. Pay to Visa, continue writing check, okay. and you're going to put the amount of your payment here and then you're going to record the check against the credit card account and it really is that simple when it comes time to reconcile this this uh, credit card you make sure that you've selected the credit card account um, from the statement the statement would show your beginning balance you would enter the ending balance the closing date of the statement and then it's a matter of just coming in here and checking off the various charges and payments. Don't, don't be surprised that this doesn't add up because I, I'm actually not using a statement to do this. But once you have all of your charges um, accounted for and all your payments accounted for, you should have a difference of zero and you're ready to reconcile. One other quick thing if you have to return something, um, let's say that I returned a part of a purchase of a book from Barnes and Nobles, I would select refund slash credit here and this is where I would record my return and once I've done that, that return is then going to show up on the payment side of the reconcile screen. Alright, 
that's it. I hope this helps. Um, would love to hear your comments. Would love to hear any questions that you have. Um, you can write those in the comments field below the blog where you started this um, teaching session from. And if you um, have any other ideas, we'd love to hear your input. And for more about Quick Trainer, you can visit our website at www.quicktrainer.biz.